Here is the Kiwi SDR that I've been using for, must be around a, a year now. It's a fairly unassuming looking box. I'll just show you quickly round it. We've got a number of connectors here on the one side. The obvious DC power connector here. Uh, an Ethernet uh, connector here, which is most important. This needs to be connected to the network on an Ethernet cable. We've got a USB client connector here, which I believe allows you to communicate with the SDR or rather the Beagle Bone board that's inside here if you're having difficulties over the Ethernet just to set the receiver up. And we've got another USB connector here. Now, interestingly, you can use these connectors to power up uh, an active antenna. When I ran the MLA30 with a Kiwi, I powered the MLA30 from the USB connector here without any difficulties. It's a plain aluminium box, came, came as part of the Kiwi SDR kit. And uh, no other connectors on the sides or anything. On the front, we've got two connectors. We've got an SMA connector for the antenna. And we've got an SMA connector for a, a GPS antenna. And you might wonder, well, what is the point of um, a GPS? Now, my understanding is that the um, GPS signal enables the receiver to set the time accurately and it's also used in the direction finding function that the Kiwi SDRs have. Um, the GPS antenna is provided with a Kiwi. It looks something like this. This is a spare one I have. It, I think they call it a pack. It's just a little flat antenna on a length of um, SMA, um, or rather RG174 cable, terminated at SMA. Uh, my GPS antenna is just outside in the garden. It's literally stuck on top of a fence post. It's only about uh, three feet from the ground and it works fine. We'll see how that works uh, in a moment when I show you the admin page of the Kiwi. But that's the Kiwi SDR. This normally sits under the desk. It runs 24-7. The only thing you notice about it when it's on in the room, it has quite a noisy uh, fan. There's a cooling fan in here. It's a little bit noisy. I guess I could change that, but it, it's not noisy enough to um, really annoy me. Doesn't look like much, but it's transformed my shortwave listening. And, we and here is the uh, Kiwi in situ. You can see the um, network activity lights under the Ethernet cable. And I'll just bring you in a little bit closer with the sound and you'll hear the fan. So hopefully that was the fan noise. You picked that up okay. Um, it, it, it's not too intrusive, but it's there. So here's the Kiwi uh, SDR being received on my Android phone. Got the spectrum display and the waterfall. We can actually bring up the control panel so we can tune the Kiwi with that. And a slightly better view here on an Android tablet. This is an Amazon Fire tablet using their internet uh, silk browser. Basically any uh, device that uses a browser will be able to access the Kiwi. You don't have to install any software at the remote end at all. And of course here is the Kiwi being received on one of my uh, PCs using an old uh, LG flat screen TV here as a monitor. And there's the uh, Kiwi tuning control panel.